All right, guys, today's going to be a quick video. My computer is still down. Uh, I'm sitting in my chair right now because it's cold and snowing out. So I'm inside in the nice warm. Uh, so we went hunting yesterday at old schoolhouse site. I got some video of it. Not a lot because I left my camera on and it died. I got my first old Indian head penny. It's nineteen fifty nine. Literally the first year for the Indian head pennies. So you can see, you can see the full wreath on the back. There's no shield up here, and you got one cent in the middle. And then it's, I think I said 19, 1859, I don't know, I think I said 1959, 1859. First year, Indian head penny. So I'm going to get some of those Andreas pencils and see if we can get it pop a little bit more so see a little bit better that is awesome I'm first penny here's a fun fact for you guys these bring up I think this is what they a lot of the hunters call fatty Indians I think they uh, they ring up lower than the normal Indian the higher the the newer Indian head pennies these are made out of copper and nickel. This was hitting 15 on my Equinox 600. It was ringing up as a 15. So because of that nickel that's in it, I think is what obviously causes it to ring up more in the nickel signal range. Like I said, it was a 15. Solid 15. So... And then the newer ones, it was 1859 to 1860 or 64, don't quote me. I did a bunch of research last night. I can't remember exactly. Was copper and nickel. And then they switched to copper, tin, and zinc. So we all know the Indian head pennies have a very distinct sound to them. The newer ones, not the older ones, they have a very distinct sound to them where they're kind of, it's kind of like a mid-tone with, popping with a high tone in there. A very distinctive sound on most metal detectors. Uh, and that's why, because of the copper, and then it's got zinc and tenon. So that explains, to me that explains why it does the, you know, it does the tones on those with that distinctive tone because of the copper, the tin, and the zinc. And that's why it rings up as a zinc, zinc penny with a high tone kind of in, intermixed in there. So, just a little quick video for you guys. Uh, very interesting historical information. Uh, I went on wiki, Wikipedia. And kind of wrote through the, art the articles and stuff there. And lots of information on there. So it's an awesome little find. Uh, Isaiah got a uh, Crota Bell with a number 7 on it. A big old Crota Bell with a number 7 on it. Beautiful condition. So. Alright. Alright. This is my second oldest coin. My first oldest coin is the large cent that I got this year. This will be the second oldest coin. My large cent was 1853. It's 1859. Also, another real quick fun fact for you guys. Uh, silver coins produced uh, well through... They stopped producing silver coins in 1964... 
Okay, let me rephrase this. They stopped dating silver coins in 1964. Or they, I can't get, get this right. Silver coins stopped in 1964, but they continued to mint them past 1964, but they were post, post dated to 1964. So they continue to make them through 65 and 66. So for two more years, they continued to make silver coins, but they post dated them 1964. Uh, and obviously the Kennedy half dollars are different. They went to 40% silver all the way into the 70s. Well, up to 1970. So you could have a you could have a silver coin as dated 1964 and it could have been minted in 65 or 66. I was reading about that last night. Just another little fun fact for you guys I didn't know that I read last night through some articles. Alright. Uh thanks for watching. Also, keep an eye up because we're going to have the contest coming up here pretty soon, right before Christmas. So, keep watching.